Hi, I'm Dave Clayton. Welcome to my three minute max. I'm going to crack on. I've only got three minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is for my book cover design, where I'm going to use some blend modes is I'm going to come over here and create a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle over the top of that and I'm going to change my gradient. So we want the fill color, we want our gradient down here and I'm going to come to these wintry colors I've made and I'm just going to click and drag these onto my gradient and then just pull these away. So if you've never made gradients in InDesign, there's a first little tip for you. Then come back up to the gradient tool and I'm just going to draw a line down like that because I want light at the top and dark at the bottom. So now I've got a rectangle there. I'm going to come over to my layers panel, I'm going to bring it out to the bottom and I'm going to lock that off because I don't want to move that. Next thing I'm going to do is come over to Illustrator, Command C, get this snowflake path and Command V and paste it into my document. Hold Shift key down and resize and drag that down into the center there. I'm going to use this as a frame. So the next thing I want to do is go File and then Place. And I'm going to use this kind of wintry, crusty old man. Open, that's placed it in there, but it's okay because I can come up here and use this content aware fit. And what that's going to do is frame him in the middle of the uh, snowflake. And I can just use the shift and alt key and just uh, enlarge him a little bit so we can see what we're doing there. Bring his face a little bit closer out. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to click on the frame and I'm going to change the blend mode in the effects panel to multiply so that he blends into the color. Now I've got that, I'm going to turn off this stroke because I don't need it. And then I'm going to come over to my layers panel. Here's my image and I'm just going to make a copy of it, drag it on top and then make sure that I've got the top one selected like so. Now I'm going to turn off the multiply. I don't need that anymore. What I want to do now is add some text into this. So I'm going to command C, come over to my shape and I'm going to go edit, paste into. I'm going to paste that text into the frame. Then what I'm going to do is change that to overlay so that the text blends in with the face. So now that I've got all those pieces together, I can actually, let's just make sure we've got the stroke off that one as well. Yep. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hold shift alt command, which means I can resize everything all in one go. I'm going to make that nice and big and I'm just going to turn it on its side, make it a little bit squiffy. Um, so I've got that. Then I'm going to bring my book title over the top. Make sure that everything is put in the right order in the layers panel. Um, so I've got my snowy evening at the top there and I'm going to bring my author in down the bottom like so. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to come over here and get my rectangle tool. Make sure my fill color is selected and I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle over the top and then come over to my swatches panel and I'm just going to change that to blue and then I'm going to make a copy of that. I'm going to hold the alt key down and then drag that to the bottom, put that in the bottom of the book there and I'm going to change that to my other wintry color. Then all we need to do is hit W. If we hit shift W again, we can see that full page. So there you go. And we've got a nice three minute book cover. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.